Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Vlogs of One Ots. We are back at it again for another episode. Today is the day that we go to the doctors for the first time in many, many months. It's uh, to go for two reasons get results that we had gotten done a little while ago and to check up on my bloody leg. I managed to bash it up against a flower pot and tore some skin off, so we're gonna have to go and get that sorted out. So, we're gonna go to the doctors and everything else in between, so without further ado guys, let's go. It's probably a good reason that we left a little early. Just on the other side of that car, you can just see the stop sign. There is a, uh, as you would say, traffic control guys all over the place. There is one just on the other side of that car. We've got to sit here and wait until it's all clear to go. Hopefully, we'll be leaving in the next couple of seconds. It's all because of a little bit of a road work down there. As you can see, the little excavator thingy. You can just barely see the arm behind that tree, but still, this is why we always got to leave early. Considering the doctor's appointment's at 12.30, it's currently 11.30. Always been a bit pedantic when it comes to time, uh, especially when it comes to appointments, work, whatever. I've always been there, always early enough to uh, have a nap in the car for about half an hour or an hour or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is exactly the reason why we leave early. Ay, 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 seriously. These are probably the most pointless bloody lights you'll ever get to see. Especially on a something that is required for 80 to 100 k's an hour. Ooh, it's just turned green, sweet. Let's bloody hell guys, I don't know about you, but I have never seen that many bloody pieces of road work in my life. Probably gone through about five to six of them in the past 45 minutes. But, good news is, we made it to the doctors in time. We got about 15 minutes before the uh, Appointment. So I'm going to get my mask, I'm going to go inside, do what we need to do, and show them this leg and get the results. So you guys will be the first that I'll be telling about the results after I get them. So yeah, we'll see how it all goes. And if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about with the leg, this right here. Yeah. I uh, did a number on myself as you guys can see. So while we're here at the doctors, the results may give us the answer why the skin is so thin, but then it may not. So once we go in, I'll ask the doc, why the hell is everything so thin on my legs? What could be causing it? Blah, blah, blah. But who knows? Could be a range of things. Uh, Maybe just something that I need to hear to stop certain aspects of my life to, from spiraling out of control, if you know what I mean. But for now, we are going to go and get this sorted out, finished, fixed, whatever else in between. So I'll let you guys know what the results were. All right, some good and uh, I don't know if you would call it bad news, but good news is my legs do have full functioning veins and everything else. So there's no poor circulation or anything like that. <clears throat> I do, however, have some uh, four mil uh, varicose veins potentially going to pop out at some point in the near future could be when I'm 37 could be when I'm 40 I have no idea but everything is running smoothly as per the usual which is a bonus for me also uh, there has been a little something that I've been carrying on my belly a umbilical hernia it is basically when the intestines or part of the stomach pops out through the wall of the stomach or the muscles if you will so there is nothing wrong with it at the moment the doctor basically said if it's not bothering you if it's not any pain or anything like that you can pretty much get away with it but as soon as any pain comes that's when it kind of goes back in and twists basically causing a bit of discomfort and possibly if i leave it mm, i wouldn't be around but i just got to keep an eye on it they basically said that there's as long as there's no issues with it always good while i was in there i got myself a little dressing on my leg i could have done that at home while i was uh while i was there but uh yeah they wanted to do it for me so yeah nothing wrong with it though though i can almost guarantee you guys right now that that bandage down there is going to get itchy at some given point 
But as long as I keep it on there, try and keep the germs off it, the wound, or the torn off skin, if you will, we should be all right. That's why I've got the bandages at home, so I can change it over every, uh, it probably should do it every day, but this bandage will stay on for about three days, if that, if I don't get it too wet. But that's going to be a bit difficult, especially when having such showers. But we'll figure something out when the time comes for that. Now that we've got all that sorted out, one is hoping that this weather decides to calm itself down just a wee bit. And when I say calm down, I mean the wind to pipe itself down just a wee bit. Because we want, wouldn't mind having the fire going tonight. I've already got it uh, pre-loaded with a lot of sticks and twigs and everything else. So we'll just stick a little cube under there and light her up. And everything else in between, but again, one is hoping that this weather decides to calm itself down so that we can start chucking this stuff through and want to clean up this area. Uh, yeah, it won't be too long until the uh, fire restrictions kick in. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind having one more little fire before that kicks in. But we'll see how things go. And if we can't have it tonight, we'll probably have it tomorrow morning if we can come out early enough to uh, start her up and go until probably a little bit at lunchtime perhaps but uh, again we'll see how the weather holds out for the next couple of hours so the wind has died down a little bit guys which is a bonus so we're gonna run out the back and start this little fire going I've got uh, some heat stuff out there already or fire beads if you will so I'm going to chuck a couple of those under the sticks that we've got lying there and we'll just lay everything on top of that from then onwards. So I'm really looking forward to having this little fire to be honest with you guys. It's been such a hot minute since we've, uh, as you would say, had a fire. So it's going to be quite pleasant either way. Not much to look at now guys, but it is going. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. So we're just going to sit back and relax and enjoy the fire. Might have another fire tomorrow and finish off whatever's left of that. But for now, I'm going to sit back and relax and enjoy this fire. I must admit guys, this is thoroughly enjoyable regardless. This is something that we definitely needed for this afternoon. Just to come out here and have a little bit of a fire. Unwind. Oh, yes. I must admit that is pumping out some serious heat and I don't think we'll be burning much more after this because it's uh, about 8 o'clock at night now so I don't want to be out here too long but long enough to uh, enjoy I don't know about you guys but I've had probably just about enough of this to be honest I had a good little run with this to be honest that uh, has been a very nice fire indeed but I'm going to go inside and relax for the rest of the day. It's, uh, yeah, about 9 o'clock or about 9.30, I think. But I'm going to let that die down a little bit more and then head off inside. Mm -mm. That uh, coffee went down like a treat. 
sitting out the back here enjoying a little bit of sun before we go back inside and do whatever. <sighs> we're also chopping up some wood while we're out here too. I tell you what, it's hard bloody work, especially if you're not as uh, fit as some people. But we got a majority done. Got probably about half the wood cut up now, so I'm pretty darn happy with that. I ended up having to sharpen up the axe before the uh, last one, so yeah, I'm not going to bother cutting any more wood up today. <laughs> pretty much done. I'm just going to relax for the rest of the day. Go in and uh, contemplate the next time we're going to have a little fire. Sounds like uh, someone's doing some vacuuming. Nothing wrong with that. We're just going to sit out here for a little bit longer. All that wood chopping at home, guys. I've got a little bit of an itch to come out and have a bit of a walk. Thought it might be a good idea to bring the drone out as well. I must admit, I nearly lost her. I uh, ran into some branches just on the other side of this bridge here. And uh, she nearly went into the drink. Ooh. Whew. Talk about getting the heart started, guys. I tell you what. Would not have been impressed if I, uh, as you would say, if I lost the drone. Wouldn't be the first one, though. I've always had that sort of... OCD when it comes to objects so losing stuff breaking stuff has never been my strong point I will admit without a doubt so I must admit I haven't been to this part we always go down that way for a walk but over here we haven't done much exploring honestly you know what I'm thinking? This down here might be a perfect... Oh, what's that thing on the lens? <sighs> no idea. Sorry guys, just had a little something on the lens there. But this would probably be perfect for a little, uh, as you would say, stealth camp. Be absolutely perfect for it. There's uh, not much level ground except for up there. But look at all the lush green down here, guys. Jeez. This would be perfect. Did not expect to see this here, though. Big bugger off sluice hole. Sitting right there. Hmm. Well, this is why I came down here, guys. It's because of the running water just down there. Yep. I'm going to try and get a little bit further up this way if I can. And it's probably not a good idea to do it in the thongs either, but oh well. Snakes are probably barely coming out at this point, but got to be careful. So I nearly lost me drone. Just over there where those two, like two branches are, or two trees. Nearly ran into the leaves, and it went almost nearly straight into the water just over there. Oh, I tell you what, I'm a very lucky boy. And I'm very grateful that the drone held its composure. Mm, for me to move it away but anyway look at all this little game trail running all the way down if there's any fish down in there it'd be awesome just chuck a line in see if there's anything there they'd probably be hiding under all these little shrubs here and along the other side but this would be perfect Perfect little fishing hole. So even got some frogs just up over there. They must be in the somewhere in here. Little man-made uh, little dam right there. Listen to that. That would be sick to sleep next to that. Running water. Yeah. I reckon I'd come down here with a fishing pole and just bloody couple of casts out to see if anything's here. Even come down with a line that we can soak. I reckon this be somewhat deep enough to uh, house a few fish, I reckon. Uh, looks like a few people have carved a little walkway just up here. Sort of up there, around that tree, somewhere to over here. That's like, that's how I found here. You can just barely see the game trail right there 
and it sort of goes up that way there. Now I've been itching to get out of the house for the last couple of months and now I've finally come out here and decide to have a bit of a gander around here. Tell you what, it's one of the best decisions today. Nice, refreshed, rewinded, rewound, <laughs> depending on how you want to bloody call it. But yeah, certainly glad that we decided to bring the drone down and uh, have a bit of a walk around and everything else in between. Absolutely love the look of these rocks. Just the rocks by themselves is absolutely awesome. I love it. Let me get a nice little photo of these at some point. I might have to stand just over there. Take a photo back this way. I think that might be the best option. It's good to see that the uh, people that created this bridge have left a lot of their natural rock uh, as it is instead of disrupting it too bad. The biggest thing that I need to be careful of is that I don't uh, trip because I don't need to scum my uh, legs any more than what they are, already are because it does take quite a bit of time for them to get healed so I'm going to get a nice little spot just up here and take a nice little photo I think that'll be the way to go I honestly don't know why I've been pushing off getting photography done so I thoroughly enjoy it, without a doubt guys. There is a lot to learn from it though. Settings, positioning, but I thoroughly do enjoy going out taking photos. And I must admit, seen underneath that bridge, I've seen all the natural rock forms, and seen on the other side of the bridge, it's really given an itch that needs scratching. So, when we get a bit more time up our sleeves, we're going to try and get out and do a little bit more photography and just get outside a lot more because I'm starting to get a bit sick and tired of sitting inside all the bloody time, guys. That's the main reason why I started YouTube, is to get myself off my ass and to go out and do stuff. And I've gotten to the point where I've gone exceptionally lazy and basically sit at home doing diddly squat which is not a good idea because we do need to get out we need to do ex uh, more exercise and just enjoy life as it were not sitting on our backsides in our room wasting our life and I tell you what, I kind of wish I had the money go and get some bait go out fishing today I did get invited by one of you guys and you know exactly who you are unfortunately it's all due to the lack of this if I had a bit of this, I would have easily come out and had a fish with your mate. But uh, I'm one of those type of people that doesn't like to uh, leech, scab or anything else off other people. I like to pay my own way. Bloody beautiful day for it though guys. It's like 25 degrees C, which I'll do the conversion down there for you guys. It's beautiful. There's a little bit of wind. The sun's out. There's hardly any clouds around. Fish would have been biting easily, without a doubt. This would have been a perfect day to go fishing. But I'm happy with what I've done today though, either way. Can't complain too much about it. Went down, took some photographs, uh, took a little bit of a video. Can't complain too much with that guys. I'm... It's just the way that uh, the dice roll really. So with today's little venture out to 
the photography and all that sort of stuff it has given me that little itch that needs to be scratched at some given time we'll get back out there and find a different location to take some photographs and whatnot something different as well uh, instead of doing like nature pics like we did today we'll go out and possibly find another abandoned house or a building and um, take photographs of that instead that is that is the plan for the future days to come one is hoping to get off his ass and actually do it because I find it fun I find it relaxing I must admit going out today instead of sitting in my room really helped loosen some tension but anyways guys blabbing on too much as per the usual we've basically done what we needed to do and got the results from the docks went out and done some photography relaxed for a bit now it's time to enjoy the rest of the day for what it's worth and then uh, get back into work tomorrow uh, so I got what what's today Thursday so I think I got Thursday Friday Saturday off Sunday so then on Monday Tuesday possibly Wednesday next week depending on what the schedule looks like but uh, we'll see how it all looks for there but for the time being guys I'm gonna leave it at that thanks for watching thanks for being a part of this video guys don't forget to like the video don't forget to share it out and if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe it really means a lot to us when you guys do that and if you feel free to comment down below then that would be muchly appreciated but for now guys stay happy stay positive until the next time guys keep it easy